Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's tutorial how to make a Christmas nutcracker decoration. I'm Louise, I'm the founder of Cleotic. So Cleotic is the first Irish brand of modelling clay. It's non-messy and it air dries. So basically you get to keep your little creations forever and ever. So I'm going to show you now exactly what we're going to make today. So here's a little nutcracker decoration. He's good isn't he? He's very very cute. Yes? These tutorials are kindly sponsored by Meath County Council and Meath Library Services. So let's get playing. So boys and girls, in your kit you would have got the following. You would have got orange, silver, white and black. I would also would have got a little bit of wire, a little bit of string and your toothpick. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to get your orange. We're just going to do a little warm up exercise first to show you all the shapes you need to know to make anything from modeling clay or chaotic. Okay, so we're going to stretch and we're going to fold. So you stretch and you fold like this over and back, just warming up the clay basically. So we're warming up the clay ever so slightly, like this and like this. Now the first shape you need to know to make anything from Cleotic is a ball. So it's the simplest shape. So I'm going to do mine in the palm of my hand. So you roll over and back. So you want to put a bit of pressure on it boys and girls just to make it wrinkle free and as professional as you can get it. Okay, so that's the first shape. I'm just going to hold it up to the camera now to show you my ball. Let's do it in the palm of my hand as I said. You can do it on the table either, whatever way you're happy with working it. Whatever way you feel comfortable with, please do so. Like that. I'm going to hold up the camera so it's lovely and wrinkle free. So that's the first shape. Now the second shape is called a droplet. So you have the ball and decide where the halfway mark is. So my halfway mark is right here. So I'm going to put pressure on one side only. So over and back, over and back, over and back. You see? Over and back like this. Just put pressure on one side only. So you have a fat bottom and a skinnier top. See? I'm going to put it on the table like that. So you can see it's a skinnier top and a fatter bottom. Okay? So that's called the droplet because it looks like a teardrop or a raindrop. Now, the third shape is the most simplest of shape. So just roll back quickly into a ball and then roll into a sausage. Just like that. Simple sausage. Yeah? So a ball, a droplet and a sausage are the three shapes. Okay, so we're going to put the orange back in for a minute and I'm going to ask you to take out your white clay. So take out your white clay here. Okay, so this is going to be used for the head and for the hands and for the little bit of the shirt. So I'm going to ask you firstly to take around this amount away. So look at around this amount. This is going to be used for his eyes, his hair, his eyebrows and for his little shirt. So take away that amount, maybe a little bit more. So obviously a bigger ball for the head and a small little ball for the other parts. Okay. Now I'm going to put this aside. Okay, so this is the extra white clay. I'm going to set it aside underneath. And remember it's air drying. So put the clay that you're not using under your tub if you can. Okay, so again, just stretch out the clay. And I'm going to ask you to take a tiny little bit of the orange. So look at, I'm going to show you now. There's a tiny little bit of the orange. So we're going to actually make his skin tone just kind of peachy, isn't it? So look, I've got a tiny bit of orange and I'm adding it to the white. And we're going to again stretch and fold, stretch and fold. So this is how you mix colours. So it's a lovely process in itself. Okay, so over and back like this, over and back like this. And gradually you'll see a change in colour. Okay. So I might actually add a little bit more extra, a tiny little pick, look at, tiny little bit, can you see it in my finger, see, and you can add it again. I'm just going to go with a little bit of a darker tone for my skin, okay, so over and back like that, and it becomes gradually a lovely peachy, peachy colour. Now, when you're happy with your colour, you just, I'm just going to ask you to take a bit away for a nose and ears and your hands so 
take around that amount nothing more nothing less around this amount here so that's the larger bit for his head there's going to be for his nose and his ear and his little hands so i'm going to set that aside for a minute because you don't need it and we're going to just start off by making our ball so this is the head of our little nutcracker we're making so again i'm doing mine in the pan with my hands you can do it on the table whichever way you feel comfortable with please do so just like that so mine's quite wrinkle free i hope yours are too like that okay now this is an important aspect of the little nutcracker it's his mouth so i'm going to ask you to use this little finger here so it's the one beside my thumb I'm using and you're going to put pressure so a lot of pressure in 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 like that so you can see an indent see you can see an indent there just to show where the little mouth is going to go but it's a strong indent I put a lot of pressure there so that's kind of the mouth section of our nut cracker okay so as you can see in this um, wee guy here, in his mouth, I have added black. So you need a tiny bit of black. So get your black out and you take your amount around this amount. Nothing, nothing any, any bigger than that, okay? And you're going to roll it into a ball. So a nice ball. Always start off with a ball when you're making anything from chaotic. So into a ball. And then you're just going to flatten your ball by using the same finger, this one here, and you're just going to flatten it like that. So it's like a, a little mouth flattened ball. Okay. And then you're going to add it into the actual mouth like that. Okay. So something like that. That I just want to show you like that. Okay. Now, so it, as you can see here, he's got teeth. So the white that we set aside, remember for all the other bits, you're gonna take it out now, the little bit of white, and you're gonna take a very, very small amount away. So look at my fingers here, and that's plenty, okay? So it's only a tiny bit of white you really need. And you're gonna roll it into a sausage, a big long sausage, we're doing the teeth now. So it's his teeth we're actually working on. Okay, so into a bowl. I'm just going to get my black tray here so you can see. And you're going to roll it into a long, long sausage. Like this. Around that size. See the, see the size I'm using? There. Yeah. Just going to get it in the middle. Like that. Like that. And then we're going to use our skewer and we're going to cut it into two like that. So he has teeth up in the top part of his mouth and the lower part of his mouth. So what you can do now, boys and girls, using this tip of your skewer toothpick, uh, you can just slice in to give impression of teeth like that. I'm going to hold it up to the tray so you'll see. So just a slight little slices into the teeth, into the sausage to indicate teeth. And you're going to do that for the bottom one as well. So I have my sausage there and we're going to go slice one, two, three, four, something like that. Okay, so that's the lower part of his teeth done. I'm going to hold them up to two upper and lower teeth. Okay, now, so we're going to use, um, you can use a toothpick or you can put it, use your hands for this, but we just want to put it into his mouth like that, like that, and like that. You just put it as carefully as you can up. See? His teeth are like that. So this is upper teeth done and do the same for the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put it there carefully in the middle and just direct it up that way and that way. Okay, so I'm just going to just emphasize the little slices now that he's it's in his mouth. And so you can see he's got lovely little teeth. Okay, so upper and lower teeth done. Good, so we're doing well, aren't we boys and girls? Now I'm gonna ask you to get your little, small little fingers here, your baby fingers, and you're gonna just do an indent to where the eyes will go. So I'm putting my eyes around there. So I've put a little bit of a heavy indent. So look at it, if you can see it on the camera, pick it up if you can. Yeah, indents where the eyes shall go. So we're not going to just do our eyes just at the moment. We're actually going to get the clay that we set aside and we're going to do his nose. So you take a little bit of the other peach we set aside 
and I'm going to take around that amount, look at around that amount, see? And we're going to roll it into a droplet. So I'm going to use my black tray again. So remember, into a bowl first. And then you put pressure on one side. So I'm going to put a pressure on this side. So he has a good nose. So he's kind of got a big nose, but that's good character. Okay, like that. So I've just positioned it in the middle of the two indents where the eyes are going to go. Like that and that. There and there is my indent. And that's my little nose. You could just do a little ball. If there's younger kids out there, you don't have to do the droplet for his nose. It's up to you. Okay. So then we're going to go back to our white again because we're going to do our eyes. So the eyes are very simple, obviously. Good mind, you're just little, two little balls of white and I've put a bit of black in the center. So you want small eyes, everybody. So I'm going to take, look at, it's teeny. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm going to put it on the tray so just to show you that amount for two eyes. So when you're making anything like two eyes, two ears, always start off at a larger amount, roll it into a ball and then divide it into two. Okay, into two like that. So you have equal amounts. So my eyes are very tiny. I want them like that. So look at, look at the balls, how tiny they are. Okay, and actually see the way mine, one is a bit bigger than the other. I'm just going to try and just nip it a little bit. Just try and get it exact or as even as you can. And that one is there is fine. And there. So these are two eyes for a little guy. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to get your toothpick. Okay. And put in the center of the white like that. And then put it where the eyes should go. So in the center there like that. Give me another little eye. Use my toothpick. Picking it up. Like that. See? Can you see it? Yeah. And you're going to put it over there like that. Okay, so we have two white eyes done. Now the next thing we're going to do is get our black. So we're going to get a tiny bit of black, boys and girls. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see it if I put it in my hand, can you? There, look at it. And that's going to do two eyes. So again, roll it into the ball. Can I find mine? And then divide it into two, as equal as you can. Yeah. And you're going to do two tiny little black balls for the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this and then in there like that into a ball like that. See how tiny it is? And then put on the other eye if I can. Yep, got it. Like that. So two eyes like that. Okay, so we were doing well. We've got the eyes done. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We've got the eyes, you've got the nose and we've got the teeth and the mouth done. So we're doing very good. Now, the next thing we're going to work on are the ears. So we still have a bit of that peach left, quite an amount. So take a little bit. I would take, that'll be enough for my two ears. I'm going to keep that for his hands. That's going to be for his hands later on, that part there. That's going to be for the eye, for the ears. So again, when you're doing ears, you start off with a larger amount. What do we do then? Yeah, we divide it into two to make two equal ears. So we should have ears like that and that. Okay, and then when you're happy with the balls that you've made for the ears, they're just simple balls basically. You just put a little bit of pressure on them, just to flatten them ever so slightly. There's one and there's the other. So there are two ears there. And our ears are usually kind of positioned here. So you have your eyes, so slightly underneath the eyes, like that, like that. And the other guy goes on the other side, like Whoops, let me just hold up my, my guy here, whoops, like that, and like that. So I'm going to put them on my tray so you can see them. So look at where the eye or the ears go. Yeah? Good. So I hope you're following. We've done a lot so far, haven't we? We've done very well. So if you want, you can add a little ear hole there. I'm just going to add a little ear hole there and a little ear hole here, just to bind it kind of to the actual head, so like that and that. Now, again, going back to our white, we're going to do two little eyebrows. So you can see my little character here. He's got two little eyebrows. So again, start off with a larger amount of white. So I'm not going to do my too huge around that amount. Look at it. And then we're going to roll into a ball. I'm going to pop this white up still in my hands over there back. And we're going to roll it, divide it into two because we've got two eyebrows. 
and these actually boys and girls you could do sausages if you want but I'm actually going to do mine into tiny droplets okay so there's my two balls I put pressure on one side and you put pressure on the other side but again if there's young kids out there you can just do it little sausages okay so then I'm going to position my eyebrow like that there and my other eyebrow like that there so two eyebrows so he's looking very good. Now again, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the hair next. So see the way I position my hair? It's just behind the ears. So as you can see there, it's just behind the ears. So again, get your white, take a larger amount. And look, you're not going to do huge hair, right that amount, okay? He's an old man, kind of balding man, this nutcracker, right that amount. And you're going to Start off with the larger ball, divide into two for two kind of equal hair. Again, boys and girls, you may know how to do hair better than me. You know, you might do it in your own creative style. It's up to you, but I'm going to do it into droplets. So into a ball, into a droplet and flatten, into a ball, into a droplet and slightly flatten. So they're flattened droplets are going to be for the hair. OK, and I'm going to have my hair sticking out like this sticking out kind of behind the ear like that okay and the same for the other one just like that so you have now the hair the ears and all the other parts of the little face near complete so we were doing very good we're doing extremely well now the next thing we're going to do is actual hat so this is a fun little part and you might be actually better at doing hats than I am so I'm going to set that aside just for a minute and I'm going to ask you to get your lovely silver out so try not get the, the clay stuck to each other there's a bit there but I just I'm just quickly separating it now so for the hat basically I have a base of the hat there if you can see it's just a flattened ball so that's what we're going to do so we're going to take a bit of the silver not a great amount just around that amount and I'm going to put that back like that. We're going to roll it into a ball. So a flattened amount of silver, like that. A ball, sorry, and then we're going to flatten it like this. This is going to be the base of the hat. Whoops, come here, man. And then you're going to put it like this here. So see, again, very, very simple. That's just the base of the hat a flattened ball for the base of the hat okay so that's that bit done now we want the top hat so i'm going to grab our black i'm going to put just you out of the way for one minute you can look at it up there just bring it down yeah like that so the base of the, or the hat itself is going to be a ball so i've taken away this amount of black away okay so still have enough for his belt and his boots and buckles and stuff. So around this amount for the hat, you could go a little bit smaller if you wanted. But I'm going to take this amount away, roll it into a ball. So it's like a cube, the top hat, isn't it? So into a ball, I've done mine on my table. And I'm going to ask you to roll into a flat or into a slight sausage. And we're going to flatten the base. So flatten the base by putting it on the table like that. Flatten the base. Flatten the sides by putting pressure on the table. Flatten. It's basically kind of a, a cube you're looking to create. Like that. So something like that, boys and girls. Yeah. Now I'm going to put that onto his little he head here. Like that. So that's the kind of the little top hat, top hat section done. See? Okay. So it's just a cube very simple and then if you want you can get a small bit because we need this silver now for lots of other parts but you can just get a small little bit of the silver i've taken a tiny amount see that's all i've left this is the big amount i've left but this is just a small little bit just for an embellishment i'm going to put on top of the hat so into a ball and flatten it i'm just going to put that onto the top of the hat there just to give it a little bit of a design edge yeah like that so something like that boys and girls you could design it a little bit different you could put buttons there maybe if you wanted it's up to you okay so that's his head near complete now so i'm going to set his little head aside just so that he's not disrupting me so i'm over here put that like that now the next section we're going to do is 
the actual main body of his jacket. Can you see there, boys and girls? The main body of his jacket. So um, this shape here is a droplet. So I'm going to ask you to get your orange now because you have to pay attention to proportions here because we need a lot more for the top part of his jacket and less obviously for the legs and for the arms. So I'm going to ask you, so that's all my clear. Let's roll it up into a ball to show you. So you take that amount, you should all have approximately that amount. So I'm going to use the bigger amount. So I'm going to take that amount away. I'm going to take a little bit more. So that's the, the for the main part of his body and that's going to be for his legs, his arms, okay? So look at, so it's it's a lot less. It's, it's less than half. That's much smaller, much, much smaller, okay? That's for the legs and arms, this is for the body. So I'm gonna ask you again. So remember, start off with a ball. So into the ball, into the palm of my hands, I'm going and I'm rolling it into a ball. So it's a ball and then a droplet for this shape here. So there's my ball. I'm gonna decide where the halfway mark is and you put pressure on one side, remember only, just one side only, like this. So you have a skinny bottom and a fatter top okay you can see it was very simple very very simple so that's going to be it's going to put his head there don't stick on the head because I know you kids out there love sticking on the head we're not sticking on the head till the very very end so that's the body now I'm just going to ask you to get use this finger here and put a little bit of a flatness to the front there because that's kind of where the shirt is going to go that shirt there right so we still have some of the white left so I'm going to ask you to take, and actually um, we can do a little moustache later on on our character if we want as well. So I'm going to use, I would say the, the majority of it, but I keep a little bit over for um, if you want to do a moustache. That's just your choice. I might do that at the end. So I'm going to use this amount for the shirt. But remember, we're going to do it a lighter color of orange. So we're going to mix again, like the face, we're going to mix a little bit of orange go a little bit more in that amount you see and you're going to blend and fold you want a lighter shade of orange basically for the shirt so again this is the fun part you mix and you mix and you mix so you keep going and you'll see it gradually going a lighter shade of orange over and back over and back over and back like this now so when we're happy with our color, I'm happy with mine, it's just a lighter shade. We're going to roll it into a ball and then you can see here, it's actually a droplet shape. It's actually a droplet shape. Okay, so that's what we're trying to, to get now. So put your body out of the way. So into a ball and into, decide where the halfway mark is and put pressure on one side like this. Okay, like this. So that's an extended droplet. So you just keep going over and back. But again, you want to keep the fat part and the skinny part, if that's doable, okay? So you want a fatter part and a skinny part, and then you're going to flatten it. So it has to be kind of the length of this here. So mine is, it's, yeah, it's not too bad. And you can stretch chaotic. So it's not a big deal if it's not the same, it's, it's not if it doesn't reach its entirety. So. That's what I'm happy with now. I'm going to use my finger, or you could use a palm of your hand, whatever you're happy with, and flatten it. So flatten, 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 like all there. Nice and put pressure on it. Okay? Now, and then we're going to position it in the middle, like that. So something like that, boys and girls, see? Like that, and you're going to go all the way. Put pressure on it. You don't have to be too... Um, too gentle with you put pressure on it just so it binds very nicely to the body of the jacket okay like that now we're going to do a little bit of detailed work here just to give it a little bit of an outline and an embellishment okay so again go back to the orange that we kept aside for the legs and the arms that's what i've left and you're going to nip around that amount of weight nothing too major because you want to keep that for the legs and arms and you're going to roll out a big long sausage that will cover all this here okay so setting you aside and i'm going to get my little bit of orange and roll a really really long sausage and you want to try and get 
it equal if you can okay try and get as equal as you can all over so it's a big skinny 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 or long long skinny sausage isn't it it is indeed so over and back like that over and back like that over and back like that okay now so i have mine there see my length so it's quite a long length there but i'm going to now put it all the way around the edge of a shirt just let me just one minute like that so position to the edge and then wrap it all around if you can okay all the way around and mine just exactly touch wood went for perfectly all the way around you see it you like that it's just a nice little edging for his jacket just to give it a little bit of a more of a complete finished look so these are all little tips you're learning about model making here so like that and like that okay now so we're doing very good we've got that major part of the jacket done now i want to get used to do the little buttons and the little lines the little um strings going from one side to the other so again get the black and we need tiny amounts for this so i'm going to start off with our buttons okay so look at that's all you need for six buttons okay nothing more nothing less you want to keep the black for your belt and your boots so setting that aside so look at that's all I've used, boys and girls, of the black. And I'm going to ask you to get, try and get them at the equal. So we've six balls in total. So I'm going to start off with a larger amount. And then remember, we're going to divide it into six. So there's two. I've divided it into two. And then each of these will have to give us three buttons. One, two, three. Now, and then I'm going to do the other one. One, two, three just to try and get them as equal as you can look it's no big major deal if they're not equal but just to get them as equal as you can one two three okay and then we're going to roll these into lovely little buttons so one little ball there for a button two that one's bigger what i'm doing now see that's it's slightly bigger but look at we're not going to worry too much one two three four this is my fifth one five and then six so it's very simple, very small little amounts of black for the button. So there you go, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to use our skewer or toothpick and we're going to put it in the middle like that. And we're going to position one in the middle there. The other one, I've got two. I want to try and get a large one. That one's quite large, that one there. And so balance it. So there's another one. So whatever you do on one side, try and keep it even on the other side okay and then the other one into a ball and then just to get your toothpick picking it up like that it's very useful this little tool here that we're using like that this and then like this so there are my three buttons on on each side so you should see them there yeah three buttons each side and then we want to do our little, um, they're kind of like strings going from one side to the other. Again, if you still want to do it, you don't have to if it's too detailed. But I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I have this amount of black. Again, you only want a small amount for all these little um, strings. So look at, that's the major bit for belt and buckles, or belt and shoes. So I'm going to put that aside. So we're going to go with three long little strings that will go from one button to the other so i'm going to do this here and i'm going to divide it into three so that's one two three for the three different sides now so again i'm going to ask you so you, you might have to use your eye here so mine is from there to there so i think that might be a bit long so just cut it off so just try and use your your eye just to gauge the amount of black you need and i'm going to position it from there and whoops you see the way mine's too small mine's too small but never worry with cleotic you can actually pull it out pull it out a little bit okay so pull it out and it'll just go stretch nicely so it's no big deal if it's not long enough you can pull it out and same for the other one so you go there you go 
whoops this is a little bit fruity i'm going to use my tool again i'm going to put you position it with my cocktail stick just push it in like that and like that that's two and then three i can see this is going to be too long so i'm just going to cut that off so again try and use your own judgment there boys and girls about how much black you need for this little section i'm pushing it in so i've tried to push it in to the little holes by using this tool it just gives it the illusion that it's coming from it like that so three of them so that was very detailed work there boys and girls if you could do that use your fly and you can make literally everything now that you want to if, you know you're very um creative okay so there we have the three now the next section we're going to do is i call it the little peplon it's this little part here so i'm going to hold up this guy to the camera here and it's this little skirty kind of section here okay so basically it's very simple it's a small ball so again go back to the orange that we've left over and not a great deal of it so just a small a little amount there okay and you're going to roll into a ball and you're just going to put your finger it's making a little imprint or indent underneath like that see what i'm doing all the way around okay a little bit of an indent and I'm going to position it just like that just like that it just gives it a little bit of an edge and more of a little nutcracker look okay so that and that I'm gonna hold up the camera see see what I did yeah all the way around so he's looking good now so I'm putting that orange back now I'm gonna grab some black for the belt so the belt is very easy take around that amount away for the for the belt that might be too much so look that's the belt or this is the amount of black you have left to make your shoes so this is only a small little amount for the belt so there's a ball and you're going to roll it into a sausage so i to get rid of those little black bits i can put it back in there so into a ball and then into a sausage and then you know what we're going to do next? We're going to flatten it just to give it a more realistic look, a flattened belt. So like that, like that, and then, whoops, flatten it. See? Something like that, boys and girls. It's very simple. That's just for the belt, okay? And you're going to wrap it all the way. And again, remember, there's a bit of a stretch with Cleotic, so if it's not going to go all the way around, don't worry. You can just stretch it around. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Okay, stretch it, stretch it, stretch like that. And mine's kind of going all the way around now. Okay, so it's like that. Yeah. Now, we're going to do a little belt buckle as well, just to give it a little bit of a design edge. So again, going back to the silver, I'm just going to get used to take a small little mount like this. Okay. And you're going to roll into a ball and you're going to flatten it. And you're going to get your toothpick so it's a flattened ball just for the buckle and you're going to position it in the center there like that so something like that so it'll hold up to me yeah you're looking good like that okay and then you can if you have if you want to you've got a tiny bit you've got lots of black left so you can just do a tiny little bit for the inside of the buckle okay so if the inside of the buckle whoops and then we're going to get our toothpick so a little ball like that flatten it and then inside like that okay so there's the belt buckle done he's looking good he's looking actually very very good now so we have the body we have the little skirty part of the shirt of the jacket done now we're going to concentrate on his arms and legs so I want, to, I want to do little butty legs of mine, little small little legs, but I want to have longer arms. So whatever you use, um, that's proportion. So I've doubled my legs, my arms to the amount for the legs. So this part here is for the legs. This part here is for the arms. So I'm going to start off with our arms. Now we're going to get the orange. And remember divide it into two because the arms, you want them to be equal. So there's the ball. Divide it into two, and you're going to do two little sausages for the arms. So two equal sausages for the arms. And this one just make sure, yeah, like this. So keep going. 
roll out because you want your arm to extend from there to there. So it's quite um, a long sausage you're trying to make. And the same for the other wee side, like that. Okay, now I can see that my one arm is skinnier than the other, but there's no big deal. I can just roll this out more and I can cut it. Because you just want to get even arms, okay? So even arms, you see from that to there. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit skinnier with you. Skinnier with you as well. Okay. Okay, so I can see have a nice amount there. I'm going to cut off that because I just I know that that's too long. So I want to get them the same. So I've just cut off from the larger one. So there's two arms like that. Okay, and I've just got extra arms. So I can set that aside. So <clears throat> with the little arms, we are going to put a little bit of a cuff here. See here, silver cuff here and silver cuff here. So again, go back to your silver. Take a larger amount, so around that amount, I think it's plenty for the two of them. You can go a little bit bigger if you want it. But into a ball and then divide it into two to get two equal amounts. So you should be learning a few little tips and tricks here. So into a ball and then flatten it. So the little um, cuffs are basically little flattened silver balls. Like that. Okay. And the same for the other side, into a ball. And flatten it and you can stick it on to the cuff so we're doing quite good there aren't we we're doing very well that looks really good okay now we have to attach the arms to the actual jacket so you have to go from up here and this the, the go down they don't stick out so we're just going to stick it like that see at the side like that okay and the same for the other side. So whatever you, way you positioned it on one side, do the same for the other side. Like that and that. So something like that, boys and girls. Okay. And then we're going to give him big shoulder pads. So again, we still have a lot of silver left. So I'm going to ask you to take that and that. We need a little bit more. So keep some for um, his neck. So don't use it all for the shoulder pads. So I'm going to... I have a larger amount, that's all I have for the shoulder pads and divide it into two and do your own little shoulder pads. Again, mine are just flattened little silver balls. So flattened ball for one side of his shoulders and a flattened ball for the other side. So that's his shoulder pads there. We're just going to put them like that and that. Again, he's looking more like a nutcracker now isn't he okay so like this now again i don't know i'm hoping you all have your peach left over for your little hands if not you could do it um you could do a black for black gloves but i'm going to go with the peach that i kept aside so the hands are really simple boys and girls into a ball i'm going to use my other part of my skewer because it's halved and into two so two little balls for his hands and then you just stick on his little hands underneath like that. Okay, so see, like that. Okay, my little other hand just rolled away. Let's grab it there, there we have it, like this. So it's very simple, a little ball for his hands. So arms done, shoulder pads done, hands done and cuffs. So we are looking very good there. Now the next thing we're going to do, so I'm going to put all the orange I have left, which I know you don't have a lot, but I want I don't want you um, to have too big of, big of legs anyway. So we're just going to stretch and fold just to warm it up a little bit. And then obviously we have two legs. So we're just going to divide a large bit of orange into two. And that'll be enough for two little legs. So into a ball and two sausages. Two sausages, one and two. So you want them even again. Try and get them as even as you can. That's okay. And that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to stick them underneath that little skirt section. So see it? I'm going to stick one there. And I'm going to stick the other one up there. Okay. 
So the legs were very, very simple, weren't they? They were really, really simple. The next little part we're going to do are his little boots, or his little shoes. And but again, boys and girls, you may be good at designing your own shoes, but I'm going to show you how I do them. So I still have a lot of black left, but I'm going to ask you, I would say that'll be enough for two boots. So look at, that'll be enough for two boots. I'm going to keep that extra bit of black aside. So we're going to roll into a ball. And we're going to divide it into two again. Remember, everything that has a pair, you start off with a larger amount and then divide it into two. So that's going to be for one little foot, or one little boot, and that's going to be for one other little boot. Okay? You see? Can you see there? Yeah. Put your little body up so you can't see. Now, for my boots, what I did, I rolled them into a sausage. So simple. See how simple it is? Simple like that, okay? And then, you want to get them even, you're going to just put pressure on one. See what I'm doing? I'm just kind of putting pressure with my finger there. Okay, so I'm just tapping it on the table, if you want even, just to give it an illusion of a flattened boot. You know, the base of the boot is going to be flat where he's standing on the ground. And then, put it on, and same for the other one. So that's a sausage, and then you just, just, Flatten the base of it. Flatten the base of it. It's very simple, boys and girls. Flatten the base of it. But again, you might be able to design your own shoes. I'm sure you will. Like that and that. So it's very, very easy, isn't it? Very, very easy. So I have um, little bits of white, silver and black left over. So I'm not going to let them go to waste. So I'm going to do a moustache here. If you don't have the white, there's no big deal. But I'm going to do... I don't want, I'm going to take around that amount. So you only need a tiny bit of white anyway for the moustache. So you're going to go and you're going, because the moustache has two sides. So there's my white. I'm going to put onto my black tray just for a minute. So this is the moustache we're doing. Just going back to the head just for a minute. And you're going to divide that into two. And you're going to do two sides of a moustache. And the moustache, boys and girls, are two droplets. So two droplets. So into two balls and then two droplets like that and like that okay and like that so two flattened droplets for the mustache because you want the little bits of the end to be kind of pointy like it like that and then i'm going to use my skewer and i'm just going to whoops i'm just going to insert it on to where the mustache will go so I'm putting it there and there, I might, think, I might need this body using the skewer just for a minute. I'm going to put it like that and that for now, and then you can do your swirly twirly bits there. So he's looking like a real nutcracker now, isn't he? Like that and like that, okay. And again, if you wanted, you could just get your silver if you have any more silver left over, do a little button on the hat, okay. So that's nearly it, boys and girls. But we have to go through now how to attach the head to the actual body. Okay, so I'm going to ask you if you have any silver. It doesn't matter if you don't have any silver. I have a little bit of silver left. So I'm just going to put a little bit here in the middle of his neck. And then we're going to get our skewer. My skewer actually is, is halved, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a full one. But I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to take it out so I'm putting a pressure look at a little bit of pressure in there to make a hole and I'm going to do it on the head okay so look at the head and you put it just like that just so the head will go onto the body so like that so that's going to that part of the skewer is going to go into his body like this so you have to put a bit of pressure be, be firm but fair don't be going too mad with it okay and yeah, I'm just Make sure that's good. Like this and in like that. Okay, so see the way I did? I just skewered his head literally onto his body. Now, and then in the kit as well, you would have got your little wire. So I've got it here and then you can twist it. So look what I'm doing. I'm twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. Maybe if there's an adult there, you could hand, lend a hand and just twist it and twist it. Okay. Just so there's a little loop almost 
and then we're going to put it in. You can have your this part here as big or as small as you want. I'm going to go big enough, okay? So look at like that. And then you're going to put it on the top of his little hat like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put him onto the tray so that I can hold it up to you and see, show you exactly as mine, the way it looks. Okay, so the little hook is there. And then when it's dry and you want to add it onto you, the tree, you can just add the little string as well, obviously. But I'm not going to do that now. So like that, like that. So I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. But just remind your boys and girls that it air dries. So um, keep it out of reach from siblings or pets for a day or so. And then you can hang it on the tree. So boys and girls, I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and you learned a few tips and tricks along the way. Just to say, keep visiting your library, keep borrowing those books and keep on reading. And most importantly, have a happy, happy Christmas. And I'll see you at the next set of tutorials. All the best. Bye. Bye bye.